welcome or welcome back to my channel if you guys are new here welcome thank you so much for clicking on this video i'm christy hey y'all happy new year welcome to my first haul of 2023 one of many more to come if you guys are not new here you can already guess what this haul is i mean you already saw the title but it wouldn't make sense for my first haul of the year to be from anywhere else aside from Zara. If you know me, you know Zara is one of my favorite stores. And it's just one of those stores I can go in and put a full look together. That's like the main reason why it's one of my favorites. Also, the prices are very affordable and the pieces are quality so you can't beat that. If you guys are new here, don't forget to click on the subscribe button down below and turn your post notification bells on so you guys can be notified every time I have a new upload. I do share mainly fashion and lifestyle content. Content. Again, thank you guys so much for clicking on this video. Like I said, this haul is brought to you by Zara. I'm just going to go right ahead and get started. Alright guys, so the first piece, and I'm going to take it off the hanger so you guys can see it, is this pleated mini skirt. I think the new name for mini skirts are micro skirts, so it's this micro skirt with the band. I do wish the band was a little bit, um, like, kind of smaller because when they're big like this I have to pull it up over my belly button and it's not the most flattering design for me but I thought this was really cute and the way how I'm going to style it you won't be able to see the band too much so this is a size small and it actually fits perfect I decided to go with the size small because I don't know if you guys remember their denim pleated skirt that went viral last year I do have that one but it runs really big so I didn't know if that was going to be the same idea for this this actually fits me like my regular size, so I'm going to say size down in this too. It's this gray sort of like work um, attire material. I don't know what you would call it. It isn't too short and it does come with shorts in between, so it's a skirt. Um, I styled this two ways and I'm going to show you guys both ways. One with another item from this haul, just a plain cropped white button up. And then another was like a more chill look, more reserved look um, with a hoodie, a um, crossbody bag, and just some New Balance sneakers. So yeah guys, I just thought this was a really cute item that you could dress up or dress down. Just something to have in your closet. Not really a winter piece. You could pair it with some high boots or some over the knee boots. I'm only 5'2", so I don't tend to wear over the knee boots. Um, actually don't wear them ever because they're not the most flattering for my body type. You could wear them with some long boots. Do like a sweater, turtleneck or something. Throw a bomber over it. Or you could do like a graphic tee with a bomber, some boots, some sneakers. But like I said, I did style this two ways. So I'm going to insert the inspo to show you guys how I style this. But there's so much that you could do with micro skirts, mini skirts. I love mini skirts. I love crop tops. Um, if you guys aren't new here, you already know that. I talk about crop tops all the time. I love anything crop, whether it's a t-shirt, a hoodie, a denim jacket, a leather jacket. Crop is just my vibe. So, yeah, pair this with a crop top or you can wear a regular top, tuck it in. You really want to show off the detail of the skirt so you don't want to wear anything too long. You could even pair it with like a bralette and an open hoodie or an open jacket. But yeah, guys, so many ideas. I feel like the thing that I love the most about my style is that I'm very versatile. Um, I have a lot of range, so I could be preppy one day. I could be a rock star the next day. I could be super chill with like a sweatsuit the next day like I really do a bunch of different looks it just depends on my mood of how I want to dress if I want to be comfortable because I'm not gonna lie some outfits are not the most comfortable but yeah it depends on my mood and um you guys will kind of start to see that more I want to go with now that I'm growing like checking out different brands you guys know I shop at Urban all the time I shop at Zara all the time but I kind of want to step out more I definitely have been in like my quality piece era like for example on New Year's Eve I wore this Jacquemus cardigan Jacquemus however you say it with these um um, Philly brand leggings and it just was a really cute look but the outfit was just so quality and rich looking it just was really nice so we'll talk about that a little bit more down the line I don't want to get too um, straight away from the haul so yeah guys we're going to move on to the next item all right guys so next up we have this bodysuit and it's going to look bright because the light is shining right on it but it's a cream color bodysuit it's not white it's like an eggnog um type of color i did pick this up in a medium because they didn't have a small i like to get my bodysuits in a size small so they can really snatch me in this one does look like it runs a little bit big but i still went with the medium anyway because that's my normal size i just really liked the cutout over here i thought i could do like a really nice clean look with this so um this isn't going to 
going to be anything like too fancy or anything like that. I'm just going to put together a chill look for you guys. If you have like something chill that you need to run to do, if you have an event that you need to go to, you want to be cute and stylish but like not do too much. I feel like this would be like the perfect little top. You could pair it with some patent leather pants. You could wear a skirt. You could wear boots. Like this. I'm just going to start to give you guys ideas so you can imagine. Also, when I insert my style inspo, that's basically how I would wear it. But there's a million different ways I can think to wear it in my head. I'm just going to show you guys like how I would pair it with items that I already have in my closet, basically. So yeah, there's that. Simple, clean. It cinches down at the bottom. And the material is really thick and just really warm and nice. Alright guys, so next up we have this off the shoulder moment. And I thought this was really cute. It's in this nice dark olive green color. This would look really cute with a pair of army fatigue. I just thought about that when I said army green. But I really like the detail of how it's off the shoulder and it's given like tank top up at the top. So I'm actually going to try this on well like I always insert the style inspo. I think I'm going to pair this with some um, army fatigue pants and maybe some combat boots. I don't know yet. Maybe some sneakers but definitely the army fatigue pants. And I think the colors will complement really well. I'll turn it around. It's just plain on the back. But I do like that it buttons up in the front. So if you want to like undo a few buttons and just have like a deep plunge, I feel like that would be super cute. And it'll be like a nice chic way to style the Army Fatigue pants. But yeah, guys, I got this in a size medium. They didn't have a smaller, so I would have got the small. I like to size down in Zara tops because I feel like if you guys hear that noise, that's my dog. Sorry, guys. That's Chloe. Hey, Tinkers. She looking at me like I'm crazy. But yeah, super cute. These are just those items that you have in your closet that are detailed. It's literally not that much to it, but it's going to elevate your look and just add a lot to your look with this off the shoulder look. So I will insert it so you guys could just see how that comes together. And I always get this comment on TikTok. What, um, what Zara y'all be shopping at? What Zara? Where did y'all find this? What Zara do y'all be shopping at? I always find the cutest stuff in Zara. I never have a problem finding stuff in Zara. This new season, the new collection that they just released, I feel like it is a bit more on the preppy side. A lot of their skirts are the material, like I just showed you, like that work skirt material. But you can't wear a skirt that short to work. So I see the vibe that they're going for, but it is a bit more on the preppy side. So yeah, I'll insert the look for this so you guys can see. Alright guys, so next up we have this gray kind of like a crew neck sweater I don't know if you guys can see on camera but you guys will see it when I insert the inspo it has this stitching that kind of cinches in down like right by above the waist so I thought that was really cute and I feel like it'll fall really nicely on my body it is cropped and I do like the fact that it's scrunched down at the bottom and I just love this heather gray color of it I thought that was really cute so um, I'll probably do a sweatsuit vibe with this with the sweats that I'm about to show you some white tube socks and my white, silver, and green New Balances. I just thought this was a nice little essential piece to have in your closet. Just a clean and quality item to throw on, run out the door. Um, of course, you could like put your bubble jacket over it or yeah, it's the winter time, it's cold. So whatever jacket you want to wear, put that sweatsuit on and put like a long coat over it. Super cute. With some 990s or some 2002s, whatever your jam is. But yes, love the heather gray of this. Love the Heather Grab the sweatpants I'm about to show y'all. I'll probably make a sweatsuit out of it and just put like a biker jacket or something with some sneakers. That's my vibe. So next up, we have the same Heather Gray as the sweatshirt I just showed y'all. These are their joggers, and they have two different ones. They have ones that are $19.99, and then I think these were $24.99. These I got in a size medium. The size small looked like they would have been too tight, so I decided to go with the medium. But this one is just a little bit thicker. The $19.99 ones are a little bit darker and a little bit thinner. So I really like this gray more. I hope the flash isn't... Um, washing it out too much but I just really like the light gray color of this one and it does also have a drawstring at the waist and then down at the bottom your ankles are cinched so these are thick very nice quality affordable like I said I think I paid $24.99 for these I'll leave the link for everything down below so you guys can check those out yeah guys just a pair of joggers I am going to dress these up for you but I'm going to do a chill look as well so I feel like I want to wear these with these new um Givenchy, Givenchy, I say Givenchy, I don't, I say Givenchy, but these new Givenchy, I know it's Givenchy, Givenchy, I don't know, 
but these new Givenchy like heels that I got these heel boot things I forget the name of them but I want to do this with this white top that I'm going to show you guys and then do my black bag also from Zara and I just feel like that'll be the cutest vibe so I'll insert the inspo over here so you guys can see it it's like chill meet chic it's a clean nice sexy sophisticated you can actually wear anywhere since there's a perfect mix of both you could wear that to the movies if you dig wearing heels to the movies i would i don't mind it but um yeah i'll insert this out and both for you guys to see and then y'all can decide what you want to do with it all right guys so next up we have this leather jacket well i think it's faux leather but it's like this dark olive green color as well and it has the motor cycle detail so I thought that was really cute it does zip up and then it also has the belt detail so it has like the zippers and belts I picked this up in a size medium it's nice and heavy and thick so I feel like you could pair this with like a hoodie underneath some biker shorts and some boots and that would be like a super cute look um for one of my looks for this haul I threw it over my shoulder with the um white bun up I'm about to show y'all and the skirt and it just was a like simple cute look um obviously it's the winter time we're going outside so just to throw something over your shoulder if you don't feel like actually putting on a coat i like to do that often because i'm not a real big layer girl i don't like to wear too many layers it's just a little bit uncomfortable that's why winter is not my favorite i love the fall because i feel like you could get away with so much in the fall y'all know i like wearing my crops i could wear my crops in the fall i could wear my little shorts with boots and stuff like that that's my jam but yeah I thought this was cute. Grab and go. Have it in your closet. Nice, simple, but still enough detail to elevate any look. Alright guys, so next up we have this white button up. And I really love that this is cropped. I did get this in a size medium. I wish I could have got the small, but they didn't have any small. So I just decided to go with the medium. It's cut perfectly, so... When you button it up, and you guys will see what I mean when I have it on, when you button it up, you have the pocket of the left side hanging, and I thought that was just the cutest detail to elevate a simple white button up. Like, you guys will see what I mean when I have it on, but turn it around, simple on the back. I feel like the light is washing this out, but if you guys can see, there's a pocket on the left side that is longer than the pocket on the right side so I thought that detail was just the perfect edge to add to it and there's a lot that you could do with this top as well you could do army fatigues um I did pair it with the skirt but you could pair it with jeans with a pop of color heel a pop of color bag or you could do like a silver bag with a pop of color heel so many possibilities so many different things you could do but yeah guys this is just a simple white button up but it's cropped and it has that asymmetrical detail, so I like that. All right, guys, and next up, I have this item on. This is a jumpsuit, and I'm actually, you guys can't see the detail, but it's like cut out like this. You only can't see the detail because I do have a bra underneath. So I'm going to insert a video so you guys can see what this jumpsuit looks like. It's super cute. It's so chic. I would pair this with like either combat boots or some heels and just throw like a blazer over my shoulder or um, maybe like a crop denim jacket or something over my shoulder just to um like I said because it's cold outside but I just thought this was really cute I picked this up in the extra small small because their sizes for their jumpsuits are usually extra small small or, or medium large I don't like large of anything that's supposed to fit me snug so I decided to go with the extra small small and it fits well I, like I said I do have this black bra underneath so I don't know if I'm going to wear it with a bra when I do wear it but you guys will see in the style inspo what I decide to do as I just thought this was really cute and super simple all right guys so the last item that I want to show you guys is this super cool top so it had one size long sleeve and then the other side is sleeveless so I thought that was a cute detail and I really like the colors on this one it's like a greenish black blue swirl type of blend I actually got this before Christmas I paired it with a pair of leather pants from Zara like the lace-up ones but they're sold out so that's why I didn't include them in this haul I will insert the um, picture for you guys so you guys can see it just in case they do come back in stock and you want to purchase but yeah, guys, I just thought this was a cute little vibe. And this is one of those pieces that you could dress up or dress down to. I mean, you can dress anything up or down. But I felt like this would be something for like 
appropriate for the office but you can still get dressed in this go to date night i went to nobu in it and it was just a cute vibe especially with the hairstyle that i had wanted to pop this in there so you guys could see it so yeah guys that's everything that i have for you today thank you guys so much for watching this video i really hope you guys enjoyed if you guys haven't already subscribed go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below now and also turn on your post notification bells and i will see y'all next time bye Oh